Most of the women in the 1800s were expected to agree with everything that their husbands decided. But Mary Todd Lincoln changed that and helped alter the ways of society. Mary Todd Lincoln was born on December 13, 1818. Mary was a very brilliant girl. Unlike many of the women of her era, she was brought up with an education. As a young girl, Mary's father believed that girls should be educated. And because of that, Mary attended two different schools that went by the names of Shelby Female Academy and Madame Victoria Mallels. Upon her graduating in the fall of 1839, she met Abraham Lincoln, her soon-to-be wedded husband. They were like any other young couple in love, they were inseparable, and they were happily married on the 4th of November, 1842. Shortly after they were married, Mary gave birth to their four children, Robert, Edward, William, and Thomas. When Lincoln's political journey took off, he realized that he needed to rely on Mary to analyze books and political reports. And during the presidential election, she would promote him to everyone she knew. Lincoln majorly confided in her for big decision making. For example, in 1848, when Lincoln was offered a position as the governor of Oregon, she told him to decline it. He declined the offer, and in November of that year, he was elected President of the United States. After her husband was elected, Mary greatly affected society. She would volunteer as a nurse to help the wounded soldiers, and she allowed them to stay in the White House. Mary would also be a part of big decision-making processes that would affect the society. But a negative effect she had on society was the fact that she spent a lot of money. She would redecorate the White House and buy expensive jewelry and dresses. And while she was going on her spending binges, people were living in poverty. The most positive aspect that she contributed to the society was to believe in full emancipation of slavery. She began to act strongly against slavery when she became friends with her former dressmaker, Elizabeth Keckley. And after a lot of troubles, Lincoln declared the Preliminary Emancipation Proclamation, which meant that all of the slaves that lived in the rebel states should be free as of January 1st, 1863. Mary remained helping her husband until he was assassinated on April 14, 1865. After the assassination and the departure of her youngest son, Mary began to go insane and she was housed in an asylum for four months in 1865. She later died of a stroke on July 16, 1882.